it's sad because I will be leaving on Friday, which is four days away, to go to New Mexico for the summer. I have been here on the Satine Alpaca Farm for two months, and it's been such a joy. But it is very hot today, and it's going to get hotter by the end of the week, and even hotter next week. We are in Arizona, by the way. Snowflake, Arizona. So, I cannot stay here any longer. I have the air conditioner blasting in my van right now, and it's just eating up all my propane. So, I have to go. I'm gonna miss my buddy Bob. And he told me he was going to miss me too. I think he will. But I will be coming back um, probably September. I think it should start cooling down in September. So I'll probably be back in September. And I'm going to be planning a van meetup over the summer while I'm gone. Bob is clearing out some uh, more of his land to uh, make space for more RVs and vans and campers. And he has told me that I could have a van meetup. So I'm going to be planning that. And if anybody knows right away that they'll be in that area, Snowflake, Arizona area, in probably be the end of October, I'm guessing. Uh, temperatures are usually in the seven, low 70s, I think. Um, maybe high 60s, probably low 70s. So, um, and it'll, it should be nice weather. And uh, I don't have any plans at all <laughs> for any activities. So if you have any ideas for those, um, that would be great. I just think having a bunch of van people come together is uh, pretty much a given activities. <laughs> we have, well, hopefully we'll have experienced people and maybe some newbies that will want to learn from some of the more experienced people. I had uh, posted a video a while back, several weeks ago, about starting a retreat for van life people to learn the ropes, but several of you posted that it wouldn't be possible to do that, that Bob Wells had tried to do something like that. And I thought, well, if I own the property, I should be able to, you know, uh, uh, my plan was to make a camping big enough for, or, you know, with sites that would accommodate vans. And uh, I thought, well, I should be able to do whatever I want on my own property, but all of the property that I looked at while I've been here, um, it's not zoned for that type of thing. And I'm told it would be very difficult to get the zoning changed. So that plan is kind of on hold. And until I can come up with a better idea or possibly find a different area that would allow that type of thing. So anyway, I know it sounded really good, but I don't think it's going to happen. But that doesn't mean we can't, you know, have a, a meetup every now and then here on Bob's property. He loves having the company. He already is a harvest host, so he's used to having RVs and, and vans and campers come, you know, stay on his property. So uh, I think he would, I think he's actually looking forward to having this van um, meet up because he does enjoy uh, meeting the people and he he's really likes for people to have a good time staying on his property. So, I think, uh, you know, maybe this could be more than just a one-time thing. So, I'm going to head back to the van because 
it is extremely hot out here. And uh, the wind is blowing a little bit, so it's not terrible, but I'm uh, getting a little sweaty. <laughs> I think it'd be good, you know, the, the weather starts to cool down, the fall hits, uh, it's pretty and shallow and stuff. There's a lot of things to do around this area. Yeah, if you're not familiar, um, we're in Snowflake, Arizona, which is, what, 30 minutes from Shiloh? Yeah, it was roughly. Yeah, Shiloh's a bit the biggest town in the area. We have a little town in between named Tate, called Taylor, and it has a Walmart and there are lots of restaurants around here, and there's a dump station. Well, the closest dump station we can find so far is in Sholo, uh, but I think there may be one closer. We can keep looking, you know, post that information as we find out. Yeah. But we're talking about uh, renting some porta potties for the event so that we will have some bathroom facilities but you will and he also has a water that you can fill up with water uh, but, and there's also trash there's a big dumpster at the entrance to the uh, farm and so you'd be able to throw your trash in there but there there won't be any dump facilities <clears throat> so uh, you need to make sure if you come that you have uh, your self-contained so you have to have some form of toilet in your van, whether it be a black tank or a composting toilet or a five gallon bucket. <laughs> but there will be trash facilities for you. <clears throat> and I, I have not even begun to think of what kind of activities may be uh, offered for the event, but um, I will keep you posted as things develop. And, uh, Bob, do you have anything else to add? No, I, I think you would enjoy it up here. Uh, there's a lot of activities. The weather cools down. Uh, the nights get a little chilly. Then we have the alpacas here that you can enjoy. And, and then there's a little shop where you can buy some alpaca items. Yeah, he has a lot of cute little alpaca stuff in there. And uh, some of my art is in there. Although everybody that comes here is more interested in the alpacas. Yeah. And, so the alp if you have not seen the alpacas in my previous videos, they are adorable. And he has 21? Yeah. 21, and I think he's going to bring, he has some more that are um, on a farm up in Colorado. I think he's going to bring those down. So how many will you have now? Anywhere from 30 to 40 of them here. 30 to 40. By that time. Yeah, he's been busily working on pens to... Um, house the alpacas that he'll be adding to to his how do you call it a herd or yeah. a flock <laughs> alpaca herd they're alpaca uh, herd. they're related to the camelot family they're a herd animal herd. Yeah. they're very cute <laughs> so yeah and he gives tours and he'll tell you everything you want to know about all an alpaca and ask you if there's anything that he didn't tell you and if if there is, you just ask him and he'll tell you. <laughs> so, anyway, this place, as if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love it here. Um, there, it's beautiful. There are lots of juniper trees on the property. It's 20 acres of property. And there's little hiking paths that go all around the outskirts. And just take you through little rock canyons. And it's just really beautiful back there. There's a lot of wildlife here. There's some jackrabbit, at least one jackrabbit, and some cottontail rabbits, and some squirrels, and some gigantic ravens who have a nest in one of the trees back over this way. And there are four babies in there. They're, and they're kind of big babies now. <laughs> I don't know when they were born, but I counted four when I looked in, up at the nest the other day when we walked by. So anyway, um, I just, also, Bob is very proud of his new tractor, <laughs> and he's got a fellow that's over there clearing out the, uh, the additional space on the property, which um, uh, will allow us to host about maybe 
20 to 30 bands or small campers. As a harvest host, he can host up to, how big is the biggest tree? Uh, the guy just left today it was 70 feet long. He so, had a, a dually truck and then a fifth wheel behind him. Yeah, and then I'm here, and then he could probably, you probably could have fit, you know, one or two more if you, if you had to, just in this little space you have cleared off here. Yeah. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like here. Um, so it, so I'm also trying to <laughs> talk him into doing hip camp because that's become very popular now and uh, this would be a good place for a hip camp. We're nine and a half miles yeah. from Snowflake out on uh, Concho Highway. It's a paved highway um, and he is right on the corner of the, the highway and the little dirt road that you turn down. And here we got Mike on the brand new tractor that Bob just got. You can see how shiny and new it looks. And he's uh, cleared out this section over here. And, but you're going to clear where? How far? We can walk out and I'll show you what Oops. we're okay. clearing to make room for. All the way down to the driveway, the entrance. Oh, you're going to clear all of it? Yeah. Oh. So there would be plenty of room. Wow, that's that's a lot. Yeah, okay. but you'd be able to space it out where you have space in between. Yeah. Um, it'll be nice, you know, you could have a central area where you can have a campfire okay. or something. Okay, sorry. I'm not, no, I'm I'm not even filming you. Um, also, he, here, uh, you can see where I've been washing my van right there. Um, there's a, a water spigot right there. And there's one, another one on the back side of the building. So, plenty of water, so you can fill your tanks up. And, uh, like I said, we're looking into renting some porta potties. But be prepared to come self contain if you decide you want to come join us. So, I'll be posting more about it. Uh, do you have anything to add, Bob? No, you know, it's easy access, the driveway is easy to get into, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, Sholo, like you said, it's 30 miles away, there's a lot of nice restaurants there, Yeah. Uh, a lot of activities going on, uh, yeah. it'd be nice and cool, you know, the fall colors might be coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, there's also a Lowe's and a Home Depot in Sholo, and a gigantic Walmart. And then there's a few lakes. You know, you can visit and what have you. It's a, yeah. It's a nice area. It's pretty well centrally located. Mm -hmm. About three hours from Albuquerque, three hours from Flagstaff. Uh, three hours from Phoenix. <laughs> You're right in the middle. Of, mm -hmm. I think you'd enjoy it and have a good time. Yeah, I sure do like it here. Mm -hmm.